First frame of the day, and my boy is literally in the shower. That is absolutely wild. This man literally had to set up his tripod in the bathroom, get naked. He had to strip down naked in front of the camera and record that. And then he posted it to the interwebs. That's actually crazy. And this man just had to show the Drake in the background, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this is literally the average Drake listener. I would expect every single human being that listened to Drake to look like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this man's fit is actually fire. But let's just keep on watching. Let's see, like, what else this man has to do. And basically, that's his whole day. My man got ready and everything just to go to Target. But yeah, that's pretty much like the newest trend on social media. Everybody is trying to be a lifestyle influencer. You know how like a few months ago, everybody was trying to be a fitness influencer? Well, yeah, now everybody just wants to vlog their day and just show off like their lifestyle. But the sad reality is that a lot of people's lifestyles are very boring. So a lot of their days will just look like this. Them going to Target, then them just going back home. It's not sad, but it's just like the normal life, you know? And basically in today's video, we're going to be reacting to lifestyle influencers. Hope you guys enjoy joy first frame of the day and this man is in the shower once again i'm sorry but i do not want to see a frame of you showering bro i don't want to see your back in the shower show me something else bro come on okay and this man is listening to drake once again like i said this is like the top one percent of drake enjoyers I'm not gonna lie, if there's one thing about this guy, he's always got the fit on, he's got the drip. I don't know if bro is schizophrenic or something, but that man just threw the thumbs up to Casper right there. That man literally set the tripod up outside, walked back in, then walked back outside. That man walked in, then walked back outside. And he probably had to do it like two or three more times because I mean, hey, you can't always get it on the first try. That's one thing that I know about videos, man. So that man was probably walking back and forth for five minutes straight, looking like a crazy human being, trying to get that one shot, bro. That's actually crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much his day, man. The weekly flower run, as he likes to call it. The weekly flower run. This is like this man's favorite spot, bro. It's always Target. Target is a must go when you're an influencer, you feel me? So he's going into Target. He's got the AirPods in, acting like he's shopping around, like there's not a camera literally right in front of him. Bro, what was that frame right there of him just Bro. sitting looking straight, bro? I feel like that's the funniest part about these lifestyle influencers, bro. You have to sort of act in a way so that the camera isn't right in front of you. Like me right now. The camera is right in front of me. I know the camera is right in front of me. But these dudes, they're trying so hard to act like the camera isn't right in front of them. Which, I mean, that's a part of the whole, like, lifestyle gimmick. A lot of lifestyle influencers. That's kind of what you have to do. You have to act like the camera isn't in front of you so you can get those shots and stuff like that. But I feel like when you just think about it from an outside perspective, it's just too funny, bro. And that's why this frame is so hilarious to me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this man has always got the drip on, bro. That's number one. This man always is drippy, bro. I'm not the most drippy human being there is on this entire world, but this man, he might be, bro. He might be. The only downfall is that he's a lifestyle influencer. Everybody's got to act like there's a camera right there.
I mean, that's just the, the barbershop run for my boy. Bro, I feel like the funniest thing about these videos are the comments, bro. We got to look at these comments. Cornball. Grown ass man. Shaking my head. The barbershop conversation. Here he go with this tripod shit again. This hurts to watch. Day in the life of a regular nigga. Ah, video. <laughs> I mean, my boy's whole day, he just went to the barber shop and just went home. And that was pretty much it. This is a clinical diagnosis at this point. Something psychologically wrong with you. Almost sociopath level. Imagine driving to a parking lot, getting out to set camera up and filming yourself parking. This is psych ward level stuff right here. This man didn't start the video with us looking at him in the shower. I am the happiest man alive because of that. This man is watching his clone in the TV. Number one, why are you standing so close? My man was standing directly in front of the TV like this, bro. He's getting some sushi this time. Okay, he set it up right there, trying to act like he can't see the freaking tripod that's right in front of him. Okay, I'm gonna just keep on watching. I'm gonna just keep on watching, okay. Okay, got the salmon, the rice, the avocado, the lemon, and now he's eating, and now he's trying to act like the tripod isn't right in front of him, bro. Why every time this man sets it up and he's like eating or something, he always has just like this dead stare. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, I'm done with this. I'm done with this man. Why is the first frame of the video this man standing in front of his TV with some Nike boxers on? Nothing else. That's the first frame of the video. That is absolutely wild. That man got the baggiest jeans in Atlanta. Okay, okay. White tee, gold chain. Why did it just jump from bro with the shirt on to bro with the shirt off? <laughs> this man's shirt just despawned, bro. Just to let you know, he had to walk back in to get that tripod. I'm sorry, but this trend of men being half naked, walking slow towards the camera while licking their lips and rubbing their hands together, and slash or showing their bulge is mad weird. Is <laughs> mad weird to me. I mean, usually women do stuff like that. That's not necessarily right, but they do it. But this trend of men trying to show their bulge and be sexy is weird and cringy. Now watch a bunch of sex-starved, low self-esteem, hard to get a fine man, women go and respond negatively to this comment. I ain't gonna lie, it is kind of weird. The first frame of the video being you standing in front of the TV with your boxers on, I ain't gonna lie, that is odd. That is odd behavior, my boy. But let's peep another one. Let's peep another one. Now, first frame of the video, bro has got a watermelon. I don't know why, I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Oh, he's eating with his daughter. That's nice. Shout out this man. W father, bro. W father. Acting like the tripod isn't directly right in front of him. Okay. Why do we need a frame of this man in the shower every single video, bro? I'm starting to get pissed off, man. I'm tired of seeing this man shirtless with a gold chain in the shower for no reason at all. Why do we need to see this, bro? He's standing directly in front of the TV once again. I don't I don't know what this man's issue is. Honestly, if you got to stand that close to the TV, my boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Just invest in some glasses, please. Bro is not even typing. Look at this. Why is he acting like he's typing, but he's looking directly in front? This man got caught in 4K, bro. But since we're talking about caught in 4K. There's no way. I can't believe this is real. He backed out of his car twice. This is his third time doing this. Late night snack. Okay. 
why does every lifestyle influencer feel like they need to set the camera up while they're showering bro it is not that deep bro we know that you shower bro we're not gonna assume that you don't shower or brush your teeth bro we we understand that you shower bro you don't need to do that every single video bro i'm i'm, I'm getting tired of it bro i truly am I'm gonna be real with you. This fit is weak. Even though it's just a late night snack, this fit is weak, bro. This man looks like a junior league baseball coach, bro. Like, this is not a good fit. This is an L fit, bro. This is terrible. This man had to get out of his car, connect his phone to the tripod, put the tripod down right in front of the drive through get back in his car, and order his food. That is psychotic. That was his entire day. He just played the game and got McDonald's. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean, bro. Not every human being should be a lifestyle influencer because a lot of people's lives are just boring. I am sorry. Let's peep the messages. What you doing? Chilling. I want to come over. No. Why? I'm at peace. Oh, is that a hookah? This man denied a girl coming over just so he could smoke hookah by himself. <laughs> You can't make this up, bro. Hookah with no freak is crazy, lol. <laughs> bro said, I'm at peace. Then went to go play with this hookah. <laughs> the text got me crying. This is a different level of corny. Yeah, that's the funniest part about this video, bro. That this man literally faked text messages. This is probably one of his boys or something, bro. This man is texting back and forth with his boy. His boy asked him if he could come over. And he said, no, I'm at peace, bro. When you think about it from an outside perspective, this is absolutely wild. This is crazy. Why the heck did this man just, what the heck was that? This man just spawned out of thin air. First frame of the video and this man is bro. in the sky. <laughs> what is up with these influencers, bro? And he just spawned a, a box through the door. Okay, Danny Phantom, okay. And he just spawned another box through the door. <laughs> this has got to stop, bro. Setting up the chairs. And that's pretty much his whole day. Just spawning out of thin air and just playing with chairs. That's kind of bars. Spawning out of thin air and chilling with chairs. Ooh. It's better to be alone than be with wrong one. It's better to be alone than to endure a love you don't deserve. Let them go. Let them make their mistakes. Let them take you for granted. Sooner or later, they will realize what they lost. People never change until it's too late. That's why regrets are never at the beginning. Regret are always found at that end. Respect yourself enough by walking away from anything this man did all this just to go to McDonald's once again, bro. All this man does is watch Netflix, play the game, smoke hookah, and go to McDonald's, bro. <laughs> That's this man's day in the life, bro. That is the sad reality of these lifestyle content creators, bro. I like how this man made a whole video about being alone and how it's better to be alone, which just kind of gives the vibe of, oh, I'm just a lonely, like, creator. I'm, I'm a lone Sigma male, you feel me? It gives that type of vibe, you feel me? And this man wouldn't be alone if he would have just said yes when the girl asked, could she come over? Like, come on, my boy. Another lifestyle influencer and another first frame of them being inside the shower. We get it. You shower. Oh my my gosh you're doing the bare minimum you shower okay cool oh my gosh i'm tired of seeing it bro i'm tired of opening up these videos bro and the first thing i see is a dude in the shower naked butt naked in front of a tripod bro i'm tired of it
Got the Formula One jacket, that's clean. That man had to walk back in the crib after he set the tripod down, then walk back out. That's pretty odd, that, that's pretty crazy. I don't know what's up with every single influencer going to Target now. Is Target like the new hotspot or something? If I go to Target right now, am I going to see some dude in the parking lot with a tripod set up? Am I? Probably. Is that man looking at Magnums? <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the dude showing his frame of him being in the shower or this man showing him shopping for magnums. I don't know what's worse, bro. And yeah, that's pretty much the lifestyle influencer pandemic that we're going through right now. First, it was the tripods in gyms and now it's the tripods in targets. Life is pretty crazy. <laughs> But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys had a few laughs, I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron, and I'm out.